Hey, right, Alan, so first of all, it's been a maybe a bit of a tough result last weekend for you. How's your team been since then? Yeah, we had the night off on Wednesday just to kind of let them just relax and recover and just kind of watch the, watch the football. Um, I think everybody kind of wanted to, to watch that, so we gave them the night off then. But they've come back in tonight and they've been working really hard, so just need to keep keep that going and, and keep focusing on that. So they're ready to go Sunday and hopefully we can we can get back on a winning streak. And um, so yeah, game against Morton coming up this weekend. What are your expectations going into this game? Played them a few times um, in, the, in the period that we had after COVID, um, and they're a very, they're a strong team. They're, they're, they're hard to break down, they're hard to beat, but they like to play the ball long and they like to battle. So, um, hopefully, we can combat that, and the things that we've worked on in training can can make sure that we're ready for that, and the players can deal with that. So, we just need to make sure we watch the long ball and and, and kind of capitalise on that, and then pick up the second balls, and hopefully, we can let a football do the talking. Uh, there's only two games left now until the split. How important do you think it is to try and get as many points as you can from these next few games? I think it's important to get maximum points from the games and, um, and put ourselves in a commanding position and allow us some and a, a, a good position for the league to go on. Um, hopefully the points come and the more confidence comes from those wins we're going to split but we're in a comfortable position at the moment. We're happy where we're at at this point in the season so it's just about maintaining that and hopefully put last week down to, down to uh, kind of it is what it is and we've, we've lost the points but let's build, build these two next two uh, six points and, and move on and be ready for the split coming in. Uh, in terms of your squad and your selection, have you got any issues going into this game or are you maybe looking to bring anybody else in or what's your plan of thinking? Um, I'm t I think I'm quite happy with the squad that I've got now. Um, in terms of bringing players in, I don't know, unless it's a special player then I think it's going to really have to take that. Um, I think now we're kind of just making sure we're building for next season and, and looking forward to, to moving for next season. Um, but. There is, yeah, still some players just with wee niggles, but we've got a bigger enough squad so I can manage that in the right manner and you never know, some players who've never played at the weekend might, might feature this weekend. Um, so, can I, although, although obviously the result didn't quite go your way last weekend, there was a couple of good performances in the squad, does that give you some sort of headaches going into the selection for your team on this weekend? I think it, I think it always, yeah, 100%. Um, not just that as well, but training, people in training, people the way they work, how um, their commitment levels in training, the, the way they, they perform in training, yeah, but again, it's a game by game basis and we'll have a wee look at what we want to do this game and, and how we maybe want to play, we might change how we play or our style a wee little bit just to, to try and make them think a little bit more so we'll see what we come up with over the next couple of days and then we'll, we'll make a decision from the squad that way. Alan, yeah, good luck for Sunday. Cheers.